Hello, I am Stephen Firth, the Global Business Development Manager at Servomex. And I'm Matt Halsey, the Process Oxygen Product Manager, and today we'll be talking about Servomex's oxygen measurement technologies. So Stephen, Servomex offer a wide range of technologies to measure oxygen. Could you just tell us what those are? Servomex are best known for their paramagnetic technology. We've been making that for well over 60 years. We had the zirconia technology, mainly for combustion control, and more recently, we've had added laser and electrochemical technologies. Could you tell us a little bit more about paramagnetic technology? It's used to measure percentage ranges of oxygen, usually in a dry sample. Very accurate, highly accurate, little cross interference. It's slight disadvantages. It needs to be used with the sample conditioning system to look after the um, condition of the sample before it enters the analyzer. And, and does that differ from any of the other paramagnetic technologies on the market? Do they also need a sample system? From a paramagnetic point of view, all paramagnetics need a sampling system of some description. If you move on to other technologies, laser for example, then you can use those without a sampling system. However, there are other um, disadvantages that come into that because basically they're not as accurate, your measurement is just not quite as good. But if you are going to measure with paramagnetic, you're going to need a sample conditioning system okay. regardless. So paramagnetic devices are mechanical, so could you tell us how the Servmex design is able to withstand external factors such as vibration? Yes, it's, it's well known that the Servmex technique makes use of a moving dumbbell. And the advantage of the Servmex is that we use a very strong magnetic field to hold that dumbbell in position. And it's only when there's oxygen in place that that forces the movement of the dumbbell. Now we then use um, the LED and the platinum mirror to monitor the change in position. But essentially the strong magnetic field holds everything in position. So the effects of vibration are negligible. And we have done significant testing to show that these devices will withstand quite strong vibrations without any significant effect. So Stephen, could you tell us a little bit more about um, Servmex's TDL technology and the advantages? Laser technology is a relative newcomer to the um, process. It's been around for 20 years and its big advantage has always been that you can use it across a process so there is no sample conditioning system. So effectively there is less maintenance than a traditional paramagnetic and sample conditioning system. On the plus side, there's no sampling. On the negative side, it is affected by pressure and temperature changes within the sample, so you've got to be aware of that and make appropriate allowances for that. As we've said, it's been around for 20 years, it's a relief newcomer, and there is a little bit of it's an unproven technology around, but Servmex have been offering this technology for at least 15 years and we have significant experience, especially on some combustion processes and on safety oxygen processes. Tell us a little bit more about Servmex's zirconia technology now and the main advantages and disadvantages. The basic advantages of zirconia is it is a very fast technology. It does its measurement within a housing that's set up to about 245 degrees centigrade, so it's really good for measuring oxygen in combustion gases where there's a lot of water you can do the measurements straight away without having to do any significant sample conditioning. And because of the fast response, it basically lives and breathes um, the combustion side of our business. It can be allied with a CO sensor to assist with the efficiency of the measurement. And these can be used together in one housing, which obviously gives you a significant um, cost advantage of being having the two measurements in the one analyzer. So Zirconia's been around for 60 years. It started off in the automotive industry. So how does the Servomex Zirconia differ from, say, a, a cheap lambda sensor that's used in a car? The lambda sensors are designed to work on your catalyst in a um, motor car. They're probably made for $10, $20, something of that nature. The ones that we're making are traditionally designed for true process applications. They work at a higher temperature. They're designed for 24-7 use. They're designed to have a 10 to 15 year lifetime. So these are designed specifically for the process industry. They're a quality piece of equipment, not designed for being used and thrown away as they are in the automotive industry. So tell us a little bit about uh, Servomex's PPM electrochemical oxygen measurement. 
Most of the measurements we've talked about before are brilliant at percentage range paramagnetic lasers. They do a great job um, at that high range. But when you start to move down to PPM, PBB, PPT, you need to move to another technology, which is essentially electrochemistry, um, electrochemical. Um, Servmex have a wide range of products, but essentially it's an electrochemical cell designed to work with PPM oxygen. They can work with non-flammable and flammable samples, which is one of the advantages over the zirconia technology, which can do the PPM measurement, but you would need a non-flammable sample. The advantage of the Servmex electrochemical cell is electrochemistry is basically a battery and traditional technologies, the battery fails, you throw it away and you have to replace it. With the Servmex, you can top up the electrolyte and essentially keep using it. Therefore, there's no throw away, there's no disposal and there's no replacement. You can just keep going and the cells typically last five to 10 years quite happily as opposed to the 12 months of a traditional electrochemical sensor. So that addresses the main issues or the main misconceptions with typical electrochemical sensors that they are depleting technology. That's correct. I mean, we know that on, for example, in a gas sensor or in um, other electrochemical cells, that the sensor will need to be replaced on a six or 12 month cycle to ensure that you have a continuous measurement. Effectively, it's a little bit unsafe, whereas the Servmex will keep going. It will not fail under those circumstances. So it gives you a longer lifetime and less uh, maintenance, less change as you go through the process. For more information on Servamex's oxygen technologies, contact your local business centre or visit us at www.servamex.com.